Let's take a look at fraction basics. Um, this is a mixture of calculator and non-calculator questions. Questions one, two, and three, you can use a calculator to convert a fraction to a decimal. It's top divided by bottom. So two divided by five, 0 0.4. Seven divided by 10, 0 0.7. Seven divided by four, 1.75. Question four, we're not allowed to use a calculator. So can we simplify three ninths? Now both three and nine are in the three times table. So if we divide both the top and the bottom by three, three divided by three gives us one and nine divided by three gives us three. So three ninths is the equivalent of one third. So yes, they are equivalent fractions. Let's take a look at 21 28 Now 21, and 28 are both in the seven times table. So if we divide them both by seven, of course you need to uh, be able to spot that they are in the seven times table. In fact, you, you just need to be looking at these and thinking, right, wh what times table do they share? 21 divided by seven is three, 28 divided by seven is four. So yes, they are equivalent fractions. What about four thirds and 12 eighths? Well, let's try and to simplify 12 eighths. Four thirds can't be simplified anymore. Both numbers are in the two times table, so that will break down to six over four. And it, again, we've still got even numbers, so we can simplify it again to three over two. So four over three, is that the same as three over two? Uh, no, they're completely different fractions. So no, they're not equivalent fractions. Question seven, we can use a calculator. One sixth of 360 is 360 divided by six, which you, know, you can maybe do in your head. 36 divided by six is six. So 360 divided by six is 60 degrees, but use a calculator if you need it. Two thirds of 27, simple enough in your head, but you can use a calculator, but do you know what to do here? What you need to do is divide by the bottom number. So take your 27 pounds, divide it by three, and then multiply by two. 27 divided by three is nine, nine times two is 18, but you can use a calculator if you prefer. Question number nine, put the fractions in order smallest to largest. Note that all the fractions have the same bottom number. So all we need to do is as simple as just putting the top numbers in order. So the smallest is zero sevenths, then one seventh. I mean, imagine these were test scores. Zero out of seven is less than one out of seven, which is less than four out of seven, which is less than five out of seven, which is less than um, eight out of seven. Although eight out of seven doesn't really make sense as a test score, but um, we've not, anyway, we've got them in order, that's the main thing. This question seems a bit more complicated because we have the same top number but different bottom numbers. But it's worth thinking, right, one over two versus one over four, a half and a quarter. What is bigger, a half or a quarter? Well, a half of a pizza is certainly a bigger amount than a quarter of a pizza. So the bigger the number on the bottom means the smaller the amount provided the numbers on the top are the same. So the smallest of these is going to be the one with the biggest number on the bottom. So nine tenths is the smallest, nine ninths is the next smallest, nine eighths is the next smallest after that, then nine quarters, then uh, the largest, which is going to be nine over one. Question number 11, we're allowed to use a calculator here. So Josh has 900 pounds uh, to spend. He spends 150 on restaurants, 400 is spent on hotels and 100 on travel costs and the remaining spending money. So give the proportion of each cost as a fraction of the total amount spent. So first of all, we need to work out the total amount spent, although we are told that uh, the total amount was 900. So out of 900, 150 is of it is spent on restaurants. So that's 150 out of 900. So we just need to simplify it. So 150 out of 900, well, let's divide by 10. That's the same as 15 out of 90. We've now got two numbers which are divisible by five. Hopefully you can spot that both of these numbers are in the five times table. 15 divided by five is three. 90 divided by five is 18. Can we simplify three eighteenths? Do they, does three and 18 appear in a times table? Yes, they're both in the three times table. Three divided by three is one. 
18 divided by 3 is 6. So um, we can say that for restaurants, the proportion is 1 sixth. For um, the hotels, it's 400 out of 900. That's the same as 40 out of 90, which is the same as 4 out of 9. So much easier just dividing by 10 and dividing by 10 again. If you divide both of these by 2, 200 over 450, it's just unnecessarily complicated when you can simply chop off some zeros. So hotels is 4 ninths. And let's look at travel. So that's 100 out of 900, otherwise known as 10 ninetieths, otherwise known as 1 ninth. So travel is 1 ninth. And we need to work out, um, do we need to work anything else out? Uh, the spending money. So we've, we can work out that the remaining is um, spending money. So 900 minus 100 minus 150 minus 400 gives us 250. So the spending money is going to be 250 out of 900, otherwise known as 25 out of 90. We've now got two numbers in the five times table. 25 divided by five is five and 90 divided by five is 18. Can that be simplified any further? No, it can't. So spending money is simply five eighteenths. Question uh, number 12 is also a calculator question. So um, we there are three contestants and they are given a proportion of a total prize. So first gets half, so half of 120,000. So that's 120,000 divided by two. I don't think you need a calculator for this. Uh, 120 divided by two is 60, so that's gonna be 60,000. Second is a third of this amount, so that's 120,000 divided by three. 12 divided by three is four, so 120 divided by three is 40, so that's gonna be 40,000, but feel free to use a calculator since you're allowed to use it. And 120,000 divided by uh, six, because it's a sixth of the amount. 12 divided by six is two, so 120 divided by six is 20, so that's going to be 20,000.